Hi Second Channel, hey how's it going? Welcome back. So I should be filming a Dollar General video right now, but the other day I, f I pretty much cleaned out my whole entire studio, which I do like once every few months. And in that process, man, I have a lot of art supplies that I decided to either keep, throw away, or donate. And the only reason I would throw art supplies away is if it's total crap and I just don't want anybody to have to deal with it or it doesn't work or whatever. And I wanted to make this video because maybe it'll save you guys some money. Maybe it'll give you more of an idea of my artistic process, things that I like. Okay, so the first item that I am going to be donating will be the Arteza, Arteza Paint Markers Premium. And the reason I don't really like these, they are oil-based, they are permanent, but I mean, for me personally, I just don't really have a use for them, you know what I'm saying? Like back when I lived at my mom's house, back when I was like 16, I would have like tore it up. Like I used to draw all over my walls with oil paint markers. And other artists, like my friend ZHC, uh, Vex, I bet they would tear these suckers up, you know what I'm saying? But, but for me personally, I just don't ever use these, so I'm gonna donate them. And by the way, uh, my friend Jessie, she is a middle school teacher, and the funding here in New Mexico for the arts is just absolutely terrible, in my opinion. I mean, if I'm not gonna be using it, it's better to give it away to somebody than just have it like sitting around. The next thing is something I've never used before, and that is the Artiza watercolor pencils. Uh, I don't know, I'm okay with watercolor pencils. I personally prefer um, just regular watercolor because I have much more control. Uh, they're much more pigmented, they're easy to break down. I've never used these, I don't plan to ever use them, and I'm sure they're great, but they're just not for me, so I am gonna ha happily hand them over to a school. Uh, the next thing was such, I just wanted to try it. You know, Hobby Lobby has sales on paper all the time where you can get like 50% off sketchbooks and I work with ch uh, charcoal all the time so I really really wanted to try this and this is pastel paper Strathmore pastel paper I, I used pastel paper in college but it was I don't know it was much more sturdier than this one and I mean I don't know I didn't like the color selection that much I mean it's it's off-white, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy this. It was hard to get down regular pencil on this. Uh, I don't know, it was just too soft. The pastels were having a hard time sticking. And just in general, I didn't really care for this because it felt more like cotton than it did pastel paper. And plus, I don't really use pastels often, but when I do, I use them on thicker paper. So it just makes sense to donate this to somebody else who would probably use it much more than I would. So this next one, the only reason I got it was from my blindfold art video where I went into Hobby Lobby and literally bought my art supplies blindfolded. And this sucker was so expensive. For 20 sheets of paper, it was $15.99. This is the Fabriano white white paper. Um, this is drawing paper and like I said, it's $15. Just because a paper is thick doesn't mean it's automatically gonna be good, but I mean, it just is literally in my opinion, it's kind of like Bristol board, but way more expensive. It's kind of like poster board without the shiny stuff on it. And I mean, I don't know. I just found the texture way too smooth. So smooth, it literally just fell out of the thing, you know? So yeah, for as far as a sketchbook goes, this doesn't, in my opinion, have a lot of versatility. Maybe like marker people, like alcohol Copic markers, maybe they would like this, but I mean, it's so difficult to even just put the pencil to paper on this, you know? Like it just slides everywhere and it's just terrible paper for the price. Speaking of terrible papers, this was from a, I think a Walmart video I did or drawing with all the art supplies that I hate or something like that. And that's basically the cheap pa uh, sketchbook paper that you can get at like Walmart, dollar store, pretty much like any dollar store has this kind of sketchbook. Paper from the printer is thicker, it's better quality than this. Uh, this basically is like $3. You can get it super cheap. You can They come in a variety of sizes. It's basically like the cheapest version of a sketchbook you can get. No offense to anybody who likes these because I know a lot of people back in college who did like these, but for me, for the price, no way. Because like I said earlier, Hobby Lobby does like 50% off sketchbooks and you can get like a really nice, good quality paper. If you're not into like thick paper like I am, you can still get much better quality paper than this printer paper in disguise. Or just bypass it and go straight for uh, printer paper, like pretty much the exact same thing. 
Uh, okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna be donating, originally I wanted to make a video out of this and it was on clearance, but I don't know. I don't know if that many people ever use these and I don't know if it'd be silly. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, I feel like a lot of people might recognize this. It's basically one of those children friendly art sets that you can get literally anywhere for dirt, dirt cheap. I got this for $5 and it has like Pretty much all the little essential things you need as a kid. It has like thin markers, thick markers, it has oil pastels and crayons and watercolor and it's it's cute and everything. But like I said, the only reason I bought it was for a video. The video never came about and yeah, it's just sitting in my closet and somebody else might like this so much more than I would. Oh my god, I just got PTSD from looking at these markers. I hate these markers so much! I might not even give these away. I might just like burn them in the fiery depths of hell where they belong. And these are the Crayola blending markers. Why are these so bad? <laughs> like truly, 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 I hate these markers so much. I did a whole review on them. If you don't know, pretty much all of Crayola's signature series, which is like their upscale professional line, just crap. I mean, it's bad. I And a lot of people did like these, but for me, and many, many other people. They were just so expensive. These alcohol-based markers just did not do what they needed to do. The blender was horrific. Like everything about these markers was just bad. I, I like the packaging though. Next up, we got some more watercolor pencil. These are the Master's Touch watercolor pencils and they're pretty good quality. It's just that I'm not a fan of watercolor pencils because, like I said, they don't break down as evenly, as consistently as regular watercolor. I don't have as much control. Like, the packaging is really nice, it's really sturdy. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of watercolor pencils and they were $60. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so much money. And yeah, I definitely think that the middle schoolers would like this so much more. So yeah, that's going in the box. Uh, next up in the line, we have some more uh, Arteza uh, colored pencils, and these are like the woodless watercolor pencils. I don't know why Art Arteza has so many uh, watercolor products, but here we are. Yeah, again, just the same thing. I'm not a fan of watercolor pencils, so um, if I don't like regular watercolor pencils, I'm definitely probably not going to like woodless watercolor pencils, so I'm just going to give them away. Uh, these next ones, oh my god, these are from my video where my boyfriend picked out my art supplies. He wanted me to work with soft pastels, and yeah, I used them, I, I liked them, they were okay. Um, basically, soft pastels are kind of like, kind of like chalk. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe them. They break very easily. Um, for me personally, I don't, I don't have a ventilation system, so I can't like apply fixative to like keep the chalk down on the paper, you know. But yeah, they did what they needed to do. Oh, shit, <laughs> I open them upside down. Like, okay, let me let me rephrase that. I love 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 chalk pastels for background like some of my favorite pieces of artwork have been with chalk pastels and it's just it sis you know what i'm saying so i have some chalk pastels um that work great for me they're like the hobby lobby brand that i got for like a dollar and yeah i think the school would definitely benefit from these oh we got some clay uh i never use clay again this is from my boyfriend picks out my art supply video and uh yeah i just never use clay <laughs> I just don't really have an interest in it as of right now, so yeah, I'm gonna give it to the school. Maybe they might appreciate it. Uh, crazy art markers. I I pers I just did a video on how to turn uh, Crayola markers into Copic markers. I don't e I don't think you can really do that with crazy art because I don't know these markers. They're almost like rubber. Like it's almost hard to get them to work. The middle school, they can like use these for poster boards and creating stuff around the school, so yeah, definitely giving these away. Okay, so I was gonna do a video on these a long, long time ago. The second that I saw the formula, I was like, I really don't like these pencils. Uh, these are the Prismacolor Premier Whole Erase Color Pencils. These are basically erasable colored pencils, and eh, they're okay, but I don't personally like them. Like I said earlier, I love the blendability of Prismacolor. I love how you can just like create something so smooth, but these are literally like overpriced Crayola crayons. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want the formula that's in these, go out and just get you some regular Crayolas because I can guarantee you it's the same and it'll save you some money. And I just, I truly think these are just 
not, in my opinion, not very good pencils. And then, and then Crayola does have their own erasable pencils, so maybe consider getting those instead of these because these just ain't it, sis. Uh, I'm also gonna be giving away some random glitters, uh, these glasses that I bought for. Actually, I'm gonna keep those. <laughs> uh, I bought this hat a long time ago, but I look dumb, so so I'm giving that away, and that's my official review. Now, along with the Crazy Art markers, I'm also going to be giving away these Crazy Art crayons. I bought them a long time ago for a video, but I never even used them, and they never- I literally never use these for anything. <laughs> I don't think I've ever even opened these, and I don't know why I bought them, but it's time to get rid of them so somebody else can use them. So, yeah, going in the pile. Okay, and now lastly for the grand finale, this is literally a uh, subscription box, art box that I literally just opened up, looked at what was inside, closed it, and was like, nope, I don't want any of this. So basically, if you haven't seen, a long time ago, Chloe Rose, my friend Sarah So Craftastic, they did a video on the very short-lived uh, Crayola subscription box. Crayola subscription box, and this thing was a wreck. First of all, it was like $40 for that whole entire thing. It was so expensive, you don't know what was inside, and it was $40. Again, for the people in the back, $40. Let me tell you what was inside. I went to Dollar General yesterday for a video, so I saw how much the prices of these were. $1 for these magic model things. There's, th there's, there's four of them. Actually, five. There's five of them. We get 50 cent paint from Crayola. This paint is so bad. Like, just get the apple barrel paint. It's the same price, and it is infinitely better. Uh, we also got this box of milk. <laughs> it's literally just like a milk treat, which, I mean, I live in the desert, and I got this when it was like super hot, so I can guarantee you that this skim milk is probably not good. Oh, that's kind of cool. We got a, a thing to make a clock like a piece of wood and a thing. Okay, pop off. We actually got uh, a Crayola brush, which I actually love the brushes from Crayola, so I'm keeping that. And then lastly, this like purple bag that has sticky notes and a permanent marker. $40 for this, for a sticky note, a marker, four things of paint, magic mold that you can get at Dollar Tree, literally at Dollar Tree, and milk. Milk! Bowie, milk! Like, how weird is that? So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna give away the milk. I'm gonna throw it away because it's definitely past the expiration date. So yeah, I think the middle school kids will definitely get more, much more out of this using it as poster paint. So yeah, maybe when they create signs or something like that, they might like this more. This subscription box, it literally ended after three months and I can see why. It's just so bad. It, it doesn't even exist anymore just because so many people complained about it and it wasn't selling well, so yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope I didn't come off too judgmental. That was definitely not my uh, intent with this video. These are just art supplies that I personally didn't want. And I will link all the videos down below that I talked about throughout the duration of this video. So yeah, thank you so much Second Channel and I will see you guys in like another six months. Bye. Actually not really six months because YouTube is going through like massive changes right now with the FTC. So I'm gonna try to revive my vlog channel. So yeah, bye. <laughs>